Hello, Internet. We got our Ipsy bags today, and that means we're going to unbag them. Yeet. For all of you all to see. And then, depending on our items, we might even test them out. Oh, well, you got stuff outside the bag, noob. I got a card. Flying Colors, Ipsy, June 2018. At Ipsy, Pride Month is about so much more than sexuality. It's about unique beauty, self-expression, and inspiring everyone to be completely themselves without fear of judgment. That's why we're highlighting seven LGBTQ plus creators who knew that what makes them different is also what makes them beautiful. I got it too. Yeah, but yeah, they probably put them all in all them. But like, if the whole point of Pride is to celebrate that, like, we're closer to having the LGBT community to be equal to everybody else. Wouldn't highlighting these creators just ruin that point, specifically? Mm, not necessarily. That This is the month, like, every other month, yeah, sure, but this is the month for, like, LGBTQ. I know, but that doesn't change the point. That's like, I don't know. Um, but that's just the beginning. There's still so much work to do to educate the world on love, acceptance, and tolerance. Together, we're making strides every day. Whether you're marching in a pride parade, out and proud, supporting your friends and loved ones, or just starting to learn about the LGBTQ mu movement, we hope that your flying colors glam bag and all the other all the stories on ipsy.com will inform, empower, and motivate you to be your best, most loving, vibrant self this June. Hashtag Ipsy Flying Colors. P.S. We teamed up with Mac, one of our beauty besties, to celebrate Pride all month long with killer cash back deals on tons of Mac products. They've led the way in championing LGBTQ rights for decades, so we couldn't think of a better partner to help us spread some rainbow love. Head over to ipsy.com slash shop to check it out. <laughs> yeah, well, Mac ain't cruelty free, so no. Okay, the first thing I will pull out is this. Oh. I could open this. Crazy. I got the Pacifica Tomboy Vibe Natural Minerals Eyeshadows. They're 100% vegan and cruelty free, apparently. Oh, yeet. Which is good. I make sure to mark all of the cruelty free brands on the which brands do you want to receive? Uh, there's a kind of maroonish brown shade called Tomboy. There's a red one called Rebel. There's a brown one called Schooled. And I'm assuming Pretty this, Vacant and uh, yeah, 1970. Yeah, there's a light pink color that's called Pretty Vacant and a 1970 Pretty, no, 19, 1970, that's a green shade. So I'll just hold those up to the camera. Okay. And it says, every true beauty knows it's what on the inside that matters. I got it. I like the apple basket on that. That's cute. Kind of apple natural box. Natural, natural talks. talks. Apple mask sheet. It yes. has Korean on it, so it's Korean skincare. I, I would read it, but... um. There's no English on it? <laughs> oh, there's some on the very bottom. Oh, okay, yeah, it has the directions in English. I'm like, yeah. guess, guess you won't know how to use it, Kyle. As if it's not self-explanatory. I think I actually have another brush, if this is the same one I'm thinking of, from this collection that I got in a previous Ipsy bag. It's a Luxie Small Shader brush, and it looks like the same rose gold color as another brush I got that I think was also like part of their rose gold collection or whatever. So yeah, I like this brush. It feels very nice. Now my second mask that was outside the bag, um, Natural Aussie Berry Mask. Acai. Acai. They don't have the little it. tail on it like they do you, they sh that it should have, but that's a, you know, it's pretty nice. Again. Mo instructions are mostly in Korean, but they're probably in English at the bottom. Also, can I point out, if they're trying to do flying colors, why would they only have, like, three colors of bags available? I know they had, like, yellow, blue, and red. Like, honestly, I, those are primary colors. Like, I want more selection, and I would have I would have been happy with any of those except yellow, because yellow is the crappiest color in existence. I mean, hi, I love all of you. Can anyone say Adam's family? Cause when you're in Adam's, I was actually. If, you, if any of you have seen the musical, our school did the Adam Adam Sandler musical, and I was Alice, who was kind of like Wednesday's boyfriend's mom, and I was like super happy and the Prozac and yellow. I love everything, and then I went crazy. I'll put I'll put photos and maybe video clips if I have any. I was Malcolm Vine. Vine yeah, he was my husband. And ow, you're touching my. Oh, oh sunburn. sorry, I'm sorry. Woo! <laughs> I got Jersey Shore Cosmetics Juicy Strawberry Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. It's all natural, non-GMO, and cruelty-free. Good. 
It has sunflower oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, coconut oil, strawberry flavor, and vitamin E. Nutrient dense balm can be used to nourish anywhere on your face and body, particularly recommended for lips, hands, and even dry nose and cheeks. Wow. Oh, so it's not just a lip balm. I could use this like anywhere that's dry on my so face. It's technically an entire body balm. Pretty much, technically. Hmm. Yeah, my Too bad I have oily skin, so I probably won't... I mean, I might use it on my hands. My hands get dry sometimes. My last thing that was outside the bag was this brush. Ooh, that's a nice brush. Can yes. I feel it? Com- Ooh, that's very nice. What company is it? Uh, Fir- Firma? Firma, sure. 102? Firma 102. So if you know anything about what that means, because I sure don't. It's probably the brand and like brush number to like just okay. It's a Jonte Bleu Ultra Lasting Formula. Um, professional art makeup liquid eyeliner. It's 24 hours. I got a pure Brazilian miracle leave-in conditioner. Is it for your hair? It's conditioner. Well, conditioner can condition other things. It just depends. For gorgeous, silky, smooth hair. Color safe, UV protection. Ooh, you can protect your hair from the sun. Is that a thing? Are you supposed to protect your hair from the sun? Yeah, it'll. the sun will bleach your hair. If you're out in it long enough. An ultra-reparative keratin-infused conditioner that restructures dry, damaged hair by restoring keratin proteins, the building blocks of hair, that have been, this is really small, depleted by chronological aging or styling, chemical, and environmental damage. Formulated with... All this stuff because I'm not reading all those because of the time. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I got the same thing, I think. Yeah, I think this. Yeah, they're exactly the same. We both got this conditioner. Okay, I got a cream metallic foil eyeshadow Ooh. by Sai Cosmetics. I'm a beauty guru. A metallic foil eyeshadow, unlike any other, designed specifically for color pale. On all skin tones, these shades are inspired by the most exotic cities across the globe. Metallic crushed pearls leave a foiled after effect on the eyelids, creating a beautiful sparkle. Infused with moisturizing jojoba oil, this product can be applied lightly for soft sheen or intensely for a high-impact glittering look. Works best when applied with your finger. Cruelty-free, yay paraben free alcohol free and it's also made in china so you know some little kid probably made this that's pretty Ooh, that is pretty so i have a makeup forever step one skin equalizer pretty sure they're not cruelty free Ugh. so yes that is we will try on the products I'm going to try out this conditioner that you're sp- apparently, according to the directions, are supposed to spray in after you shampoo and condition as normal and then style your hair as usual. I won't be styling at all because I'm a piece of garbage, but I'll spray it in my hair. And I'll probably do it for the next few days and then see how my hair feels and update. You get it to start going? Okay. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. All of it. The entire bottle. All of it. I am worried about this making my hair greasy because I have really greasy hair. Like, I have to shower daily or else my hair becomes like. A grease fest? Like a mop full of grease. So, like, let's see how this works on my hair. Stop filming now. Never. Please stop. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I do. You stay sad again. The first thing I'm going to be doing <laughs> is primer. <laughs> From this known not cruelty free brand, but you know. Also, he put in the spray and conditioner and didn't film it! Because you had already filmed yours! Yeah, well, maybe people want to see both. Well, I don't think they do, considering it's the same exact thing! Put it on your face! Kyle, you're gonna get so judged for the way you just did that! Good. I hope I do. I really don't like this smell because it smells like sunscreen, but okay. You don't like the scent? No, not at all. How does it feel on the skin? It feels pretty nice on the skin though. Okay. Maybe because they've tested on animals. Kyle! Jeez, Kyle! How much oh primer do, do you need? Shh. By the way, I'm doing makeup, so don't judge me for doing anything. 
judge it intensely. Intensely judge. <laughs> hey, can I get my first kill yourself comment, please? <laughs> now that we're in more natural lighting, hello, Riley. Wave. Yeah. <laughs> This is my makeup look, compiling all of my what? Epsi bag items and filling in the blank spots with whatever I usually use. This is the eyeliner, which I found out is cruelty free. And Dante Blue, to reach our sales department and for all other inquiries, please stay on the line and you will be connected to a representative. Please hold while I try to connect you. <laughs> Hi, I just had a quick question about your products. Yes. Are your products cruelty free? They are. They are? Correct, yes. Free, and I'm okay. very excited because I actually really like it. It was very easy to make these wings. Like, I usually cannot do wings, like, at all. The eyeshadow's fine. I mean, not a big deal. We'll see how it stays on throughout the day. So same with the eyeliner. And I'm just wearing um, the lip balm that I got as lipstick because it's a lazy day. We're gonna do go take some photos in a park or something yeah. for no real reason. Yeah. And uh, am I forgetting anything that I used? And I used my brush for my waterline again. I put some water on it to try to get the color to stay longer because I have a trouble. I have trouble keeping color on my lower lash line, like period. So. We'll see how that works. How about so. we do a weird, interesting thing? I have all my earrings in. Oh, we have to look at Riley's earrings. Then <gasps> look it. Oh, you have different earrings on both sides. That's wet. Yeah. I like it. Hello. And with a check-in, you can't see it very well because I'm in a natural lighting, but this is how my makeup has held out throughout the day. It's been a long day. I've gone outside and gone kind of hiking in the heat, but not really, just my friend, had a photo shoot of my other friend randomly and we went in this like really pretty area that's kind of like off behind this cemetery in our town but yeah that was fun and i think the makeup lasted pretty well something i'm noticing about the um lip balm i got though is that it claims to be a moisturizer that you can use all over your body so i tested this out i have some dry patches on my hands and it did not work well at all, so I would not use that as like a general moisturizer, but it's a really nice lip balm. How did your makeup last throughout the day? Well, let's see. Actually, it lasted fairly well. Is your foundation lasting better than it, did it last better than no. it usually does? No, it did not. <laughs> Was it worth <laughs> the animal torture? Uh, oh no. That's the bad words, Kyle, I have to edit that now. How? How? Well, technically, that's not a bad word because the context isn't really established. Oh no. I hate being alive. <laughs> and I updated earlier, and I want to say the green is gone from my lower lash line, but that's not really a fault on the eyeshadow because <laughs> nothing stays with my lower lash line. And now Kyle's gonna eat this cookie. That's apparently his third one. It's quite the fact that I just drive here to get him, and I want a freaking cookie. Oh, we're we're gonna try Kyle's Korean face mask. I'm gonna be doing the acai one. He's gonna be doing the apple one because he doesn't want to do two in one week because that's kind of overkill. The skin will be like. Aah! My skin will fall off. Yes. Perfect explanation. Yay. That is medically proven. We look stunning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> um, but they smell really good. Like Kyle smells better because it smells like apples, and this one smells like a thigh. But like, and I like the smell of apples better. But yeah, I like the smell of sweet, tasty cyanide seeds. Yum! That's why we're called apple so tasty. Okay. <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow and see if my face feels more firm and if Kyle's feels more. What was yours like? Smooth, bright, brightened. I've been using the um, Fran conditioner for the past few days. I've used all of it, and here are my overall thoughts about it. Like, it's nice. Like, it makes my hair like easier to manage and brush and stuff. And I need to see. I don't know if I've noticed like any 
overall health differences. I don't know. But it has been nice to use. I did contact Pure Brazilian about their cruelty-free status and honestly, I think the email they sent me back was kind of vague. I'll put it in the video here and you can interpret it as, uh, interpret it as you will. 